Okay, um, we were talking about creating labels uh, and some people don't have Microsoft Word. So here's a method of creating labels without using Microsoft Word. So what I've done is I'm going to my browser and here as you can see I've got my, uh, my browser that I'm using Firefox um, and I want to create um, Avery labels because Avery are the uh, are a fairly common type. Um, so here I can see uh, product labels so I can click on to here and then it brings me up the Avery labels where I can go and see the various bits and pieces that Avery are telling me about labels. If I click on to templates and software then this is where it will actually allow me then to start to think about being able to print uh, my labels. So here we've got uh, Avery Design and Print free use online. So if I click on to start now then here it's then going to say to me what sort of labels do I actually want. Well I'm just going to start the normal version and so with the speed of a gazelle it brings this up. Now as we were talking about before if you buy labels they will actually have a product number on them. Um, I haven't got the product number so I'm going to sort of uh, just make one up. So I've just double clicked onto a, a product label to have a look and see what sort of labels we've actually got available. Now down the side here we could actually say I wanted Christmas labels. So here for example using the design that I've got I could actually choose one of these labels here to use for my Christmas labels and it would actually print that image in the background of my label. Uh, so there's textured ones, there's business and retail, birthday, baby, parties and events, love and valentines, weddings, etc. Uh, and there's also blank ones. Now um, I'm going to go for Christmas because I've suddenly decided to get all festive. So I've clicked onto there uh, and double click there to bring me up. So I'm going to use the easy edit wizard. Um, and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete this text here because I don't want it to say address one, address two or any of this information actually on the label. And as you can see, what I've done is I've actually just taken that text out. So I've now got a nice blank label with a tree um, and this guy in the corner. Now, if I want to do a mail merge, then I can please say, please click here. So I can click onto there and then I can browse my desktop searching for my label list. Well, there's my label list. And again, that would work with uh, an open office spreadsheet as well as it does with anything else. It says, uncheck this if you don't want to print the first row. Well, the first row is title, first name, so I don't want that. So that's not going to print that first row. So that's now just going to put that information in there. So here it says next. I click on to next. And then I can actually arrange this information. So at the top, I've got title. Um, I'm just then going to put title and then uh, last name. Um, I then want the address line one. Address line two. City. County and postcode. So there it is already. I can then click on complete the merge, and there it is. It's now picked up the information to uh, from my um, uh, data from my spreadsheet, uh, and I've now created an entire series of labels. So all I would need to do then is to hit the print button, um, and they would then be sent out to my printer, ready for me to work with. OK, I hope that helps and I shall uh, look forward to talking to you later. Cheers then, bye.